Last week, we brought you the story of a desperate Lincoln County father trying to get himself and his adopted daughter out of Haiti. Well, today we have very good news. He and his five-year-old daughter are home. Now, getting here wasn't easy, but he got a lot of help from some unexpected places, including a movie star. Jamie Weiss is live at Bluegrass Airport with the story. Eddie Whittemore started the adoption process about four months ago, but once the earthquake hit Haiti, he wasn't sure it would go through. So he went down to the country himself to make it happen. He did get his adoption papers signed, but he just never anticipated what it would take to get him and his daughter back here to the Bluegrass Airport. The longer they watch, each empty escalator stair disappear. When he takes, I say he just landed. The harder it is for Eddie Whittemore's friends and family to wait. So the minute... Ask them where they're coming from. Huh? Ask them where they're coming from. They see passengers from his flight. They are ready for him to come next. <gasps> oh, my God! It's been more than two weeks. I am home! <laughs> A week longer than planned since they've seen Eddie. I'm so glad you're home. <laughs> And it's the first time they get to see five-year-old Geraldine in her new home. I haven't slept since Friday morning. The effort it took to get her out of Haiti was more than anyone here could have imagined. Um, we went through four earthquakes, um, went through um, food that really don't want to talk about. That's in addition to waiting for a flight out day after day for eight hours at a time. Turns out the reason they even got here was a flight chartered by actor Sean Penn, who flew Geraldine and 50 other orphans to Miami. No matter how the political part is, you know, it, it, was, it was great that he done that. It really was. He, he really helped save some kids' lives. And took a toll on the tiny five-year-old. She's got pink eye on both eyes. Her eyes have been shut for a couple hours now. And, She's been real bad sick. Um, but it's nothing a doctor and some extra care from her family can't fix. But God is faithful, God is true, and um, you know, he never left me or forsake me one time while I was there. So. Now that Geraldine has all the care she needs whenever she needs it. Now the plan today was for Eddie and Geraldine to get some rest and get her to a doctor, but she should be okay. and. It's only a matter of time till she's adjusted to her new home and playing with her two big brothers. Covering the news live in Lexington from the LEX 18 mobile newsroom. Back to you. Nice to start the week with such a heartwarming story. Whittemore's church, Green River Pentecostal, runs the orphanage where Geraldine used to live. And he says she won't be the last orphan to come to Kentucky. At least one other couple is adopting a child who they hope to get next week.